There's a good chance this big, beautiful steelhead in Gary Sundvik's hands began life at Idaho Fishing Games Sawtooth Hatchery near Stanley. And when Gary pulled it from the river, the fish was on its journey home, 897 miles from the ocean. We release the steelhead here at the um, trap so that they will come back to the trap. If Gary hadn't caught it, the steelhead would have come up this river and become part of the spawning process that takes place here every spring. Don't let the snow fool you. It really is April. We will um, get um, one male per female, and then we start um, killing females. We strip her eggs, and then we collect milk, and we spawn one female to a male. 70 females matched with 70 males fill the quota for the day. Measurements are taken on all the fish and each one is electronically scanned for a coated wire tag. This is a research tool implanted into the snout when they are juveniles. Scientists use the information to track the movements and survival rates of steelhead. We take genetic samples from every um, male and female that we spawn. And then we also do health sampling we take um, ovarian fluid from the females, testing for viruses, and we also take um, kidney samples, and that's for viruses and um, checking for BKD, bacterial kidney disease. The fertilized eggs are taken from the spawning shed to another hatchery building where they are spread onto trays and incubated. Eventually, they will be shipped down to hatcheries in the Hagerman area to be raised. But a year later, they will be back no longer tiny little eggs, but lively smolts, the teenagers of the fish world. The young steelhead will be dumped into the Salmon River right next to the trap to begin their journey, 897 miles to the ocean. And in one to three years, these smolts will come back as big, beautiful adults, right here to where it all began. Oh, I love it. I love it. I actually see what I'm, you know, uh, all my hard work because then they return from the ocean. So that's pretty exciting.